I don't know how this happened. It started just as a simple update to my project and quickly turned into obsession. Wait, wait, but what are you talking about? Maybe give us some kind of introduction? Okay, you're right. First thing first, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Is it this online learning community? Yes, exactly. They have thousands of online classes and... And first 1000 people that will click the link in the description will get two free months of Skillshare. Of course, but more on that later. What are we doing? I will be the first one to click the link. But this video is not ready yet. We are still working on it. I see. So let's get back to your story. Can we do like a chapter title right here? Yes, I think we can. Okay, so let's start with chapter one the idea and let's do it in like Tarantino font, that's perfect. I wanted to make a video about updates to Indie Mule, just casual stuff like adding, you know, ball screw protection, some kind of dust shoe and limit switches, you know, simple casual stuff. I started with limit switches and I managed to design a simple universal mount for a switch, that was easy. After that, it was time for ball screw covers. My plan was to find proper covers on Banggood or AliExpress, order and mount. So I started searching the internet. Banggood, AliExpress, Alibaba, random websites, even second page of Google search. Nothing that would work for my machine. There was a lot of covers for bigger lead screws, made out of fabric or steel, short and long, but none of those could be used on Indie Mill. After spending hours, days, weeks, months on searching, I wanted to give up and go back to making noodles. Aren't you too dramatic right here? Maybe just a little bit. Okay, here is what I think. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery, but today you should design your own DIY solution to this problem as you always do. And that's exactly what I did. So right here we can start chapter two, design. Obviously I was looking for a DIY solution, something that's easy to replicate at home, uh, something that is inexpensive and eventually easy to replace, just in case. Because of how Indie Mill is designed, I wanted to use this kind of telescopic cover that is usually made out of steel. I was even considering making it out of steel, but because it's not cheap, easy to buy and form, I decided to look at other options. Something flexible enough to be easily rolled, cheap and accessible, sounds like paper to me. I decided to give it a try. I made my first prototypes out of standard paper. I tested different width of each roll. Biggest problem was that it's not sturdy enough and also friction between layers was quite significant. Thicker paper was a solution to the sturdiness problems, but the friction was of course still there. Most of the time it was working fine though, so I made some more prototypes and I decided to choose the thicker black paper because it was just looking more professional and I designed very simple holders, 3D printed holders in Fusion 360 and I printed that out. And those files are universal, that means uh, the same files work both for X and Y axis. I printed the design, I tested it, I redesigned, I printed again and finally got something that was like close to working fine. Time to focus on telescopic paper cover. I used black poster board cut to 40mm wide strips with a knife, a little bit of glue to join them together. Overall length was about 2.3 meters before rolling. I rolled that around a pencil or a screwdriver and let it rest for some time. After that I re-rolled the whole thing the other way around, that way it holds its shape pretty well. With a few screws it was mounted to a 3D printed holders and then I started disassembling the indie mill to mount it. Covers for Y-axis ball screws were basically ready for both of them and I started working on the covers for X-axis when I noticed something. After all that work, hey, did you know that down? That's very important. Kind of. Seriously? So how can you make a perfect telescopic cover out of paper? I think it's just about the right time for a sponsor message. That's true. Skillshare is a perfect place for creative people. People that want to explore new fields, 
You can find right there classes on everything. You can easily learn new tricks in Photoshop or Illustrator or even some basics of graphic design in general. If you are into filmmaking like me, you can find right there classes on filmmaking made by famous YouTubers like Dan Mays or YC Imaging, where you can learn about telling a good story through a video or how to make high quality videos on a budget. One class that I liked a lot is product design, how to launch successful products by Joe Roth, where you can learn basics of product design, how to find inspiration and what you should keep in mind when organizing production. Even if you are not planning to launch your own product, it can help you to create better projects in general. Skillshare is only $10 a month and the cool thing is that first 1000 people that will click the link in the description will get two free months of Skillshare Premium. So check out the link to Skillshare in the description. And now back to the video. After all that work, I noticed that cover for x-axis is not going to work. Friction between layers of paper was just too big. So when I was basically ready with paper covers, I decided to take it all apart and try something different. My dad suggested that I should use a material that I have been using to make DIY face shields for a local hospital. I still had a lot of sheets of transparent PVC paper covers. It's thicker than paper piece of PVC that should be perfect for that, as there shouldn't be a lot of friction between layers. So I decided to try this material again. I had to cut a lot of 40mm white strips. I tried to experiment with joining methods, but without any successes, so I ended up using hot glue. Hot glue, please tell me that this is a joke. What's next? Are you going to make life hack videos? But it was the simplest solution to this problem. It was working kind of fine and uh, the connection was pretty strong, so why not to use it? Of course, I had to disassemble the wool CNC one more time. I used the same 3D printed holders, so it was just about replacing paper covers with plastic covers. <laughs> So it took me quite a lot of time. It wasn't easy, there was a lot of trying and failing, but making is always like this. You should get better with every single project and if you are not failing, you are just not innovative enough. After taking a closer look at wall screws, everything was totally clean, even after some more intense testing. So is it the perfect solution? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that's not the perfect solution and I hope the comment section will come up with something better but as for now for me and maybe for some of my viewers this is just a good enough solution that's better than nothing. Before I will end this video I wanted to let you know that I made a short film for my road drill competition. Basically it's a story about a bear that wanted to become a human. If you want to see the film there is a link in the description and in the first comment you just need to click the bear image to see the film and if you want to see the behind the scenes of how I made this film with my family you need to click right there. I would also really appreciate you voting for my entry if you like my film of course. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this slightly different way of filming. I'm just trying to experiment and test my different ideas. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description to the files and everything. Don't forget to check out industry.cc, Skillshare and my short film. Thank you very much for watching, keep making, bye. Okay, so after all that I heard, I can tell you that it's even worse than I initially thought. And you know, two things that you have to do. First thing, subscribe to Nico and Bartnik YouTube channel. And second thing, stop wearing that hat. What? Never. Where are you going? I'm going to find another doctor.